Hey everyone, my name is Deandra and I'm the lead technician at Culture Hub. Today I'll be walking you through audio inputs in Live Lab. So right now I have Live Lab open and I'm on the home page of Live Lab, the landing page of Live Lab. And what I'm going to be walking you through is the different audio sources you have to select from before entering Live Lab. All the different audio sources depend on the hardware and software that you have, but I'll go through the ones that we tend to, to use, or a lot of people tend to use. So once you give Live Lab permission to use your um, your camera and your microphone, usually it defaults to your hardware's camera and microphone. So in this case, it defaulted to my FaceTime camera and it defaults into my internal built-in microphone. Now your internal built-in microphone is a microphone that's in the hardware that you're using. So in this case, I'm using my laptop. So my built-in internal microphone is the microphone from my laptop. Now, if you're using something like a webcam, an external webcam, so say I have an external webcam connected and I want to use that microphone, that's also possible. If you have a microphone, you can also use a microphone as your audio source. So usually if you're using a microphone, you have to run it through an audio interface. So this Behringer that I have here is an audio, a small, simple audio interface. And I have a microphone running into it and then running into my computer through USB. So that pops up as an audio source. So if I go to this drop down, I see that I have USB audio codec, which is this Behringer audio interface. So I can use that as an audio source. Um, there's some microphones also that just come directly USB. You can use one of those, plug it in, and it also comes as an audio source. So you have a, a multitude of different things you can use as your audio source. You can also use software as audio sources. So a lot of the times we need to route audio from different places internally from our laptop, from our computers. For example, maybe I'm using Ableton or even iTunes, for example, and I want to get that audio from my application into Live Web. So how would I do that? What I would need is I would need a virtual audio routing software like Black Hole, like Loopback, like Soundflower. I know Soundflower is kind of outdated now, but if you have it, you can use Soundflower. Um, I'll show you guys how to use Loopback because that tends to be what we use. Let me open Loopback. All right, so right now I have Loopback open. I'm going to uh, select a source. Um, I'm gonna select iTunes for now as my source. And usually if you're using loopback as, or an audio routing as your audio source, you're gonna need a microphone of sorts in that audio routing software. So in this case, I probably will add an internal mic as well, just so that I can talk and somebody can hear me. So I see that I'm getting bounce, perfect. Now in this case, Say you're playing Ableton or music in the background and you also want to be able to hear it in the room, you're going to need to create an audio monitoring system. Now you see here in loopback that you can, on the right hand side, you can add a monitor. So you can add your headphones, you can add um, your speakers, whatever it may be. But you don't want to add that into your loopback input system. You want to create another monitoring system because what that's going to do, especially if you have your, your microphone in as a source in loopback what it's going to do is going to create a loop right so if i play audio from my from itunes and i also add monitor my monitoring system to that same system then what's going to happen is that i'm going to get a loop that the music is going to come out my my speakers and basically go back in and you're just going to get a loop and you're going to get a lot of feedback so what you want to do is at the bottom left hand corner you want to add new virtual device. I'm going to put monitoring. I'm going to delete this pass through. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to select my iTunes as my source. And then over here, I'm going to select my monitoring system. So now I have my loopback input system and then I have my monitoring system, right? So now if I go back to Live Lab and I go to this drop down, I can select my loopback input as my source. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
right? So you see that I have my internal microphone, I have my USB audio codec, which is my audio interface. I have my virtual um, routing system, loopback as a source. I also have other virtual ones like Black, Black Hole and MM Audio device. Um, and I also have the option of doing no audio. So you can join Live Lab with no audio and no video. That is an option. But I would want to join currently with Loopback as my audio source. I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We are so, so, so grateful for all the feedback we've been getting from you guys. We like that you guys are playing with Live Lab. We love that you're enjoying Live Lab. Continue to email us, tell us what you're, you're doing with it. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next tutorial video. Be safe. Peace.